Hello everyone and welcome to the video. My name is Captain Dayla. This is 10 helpful tips to do in Little Dragon Cafe. So tip number one, you can harvest all of your ingredients that you've gathered in the wild in your garden allotment. So all you have to do is you can harvest it, it will um, harvest over time or you can use your dragon manure to make it harvest quicker so you can get all of your vegetables, all of the meat that you've gathered in there, all of your different sauces, salts and all of that sort of thing you can harvest in your garden. You can also go out into the wild and harvest them yourself. So tip number two, you can get your dragon manure from your dragon's bed. So depending, in my experience, depending on how many times you feed your dragon throughout the day, um, when it goes to bed at night, in the morning, there should be some dragon manure in its bed. Um, it's a bit gross, but that's how you get your dragon manure. Um, you can ha hold up to nine dragon manure at a time, and you can use this in your garden. You can use this also to harvest ingredients out in the wild, and you can use it to harvest fish as well. Tip number three, you can catch egg laying birds in the wild. So in the wild you will find egg laying birds scattered around and if you catch them they will appear in your garden by the cafe and you can harvest the bird eggs and they stay there for up to three days I think. You can, there's different coloured birds and they lay different coloured eggs. The eggs also appear in your garden, uh, in your cafe garden as well so when you harvest um, your garden then the eggs are there as well but you can also um, collect more eggs from the birds that you do gather from the wild. Tip number four, recipe fragments sometimes wash up on the beach by the cafe so if you go down to the beach um, sometimes you'll find recipe fragments that have washed up um, on the beach there um, it's basically right near where you can harvest your fish so go down there every once in a while and you may find some recipe fragments they are a big help and um, the more recipes that you restore the more dishes you can put on your cafe menu tip number five you can harvest fish so if you when you go fishing in the wild all of the fish that you do fish up um, will appear in the um, fish net right by the beach um, and you can harvest that by using manure um, or you can wait for it to fill up over time tip number six always check your story progress so I, what i have found playing little dragons cafe is i get so engrossed in foraging for ingredients and recipe fragments that sometimes i forget how far in the story i am and what i do actually need to do to progress so always check your story progress it will give you hints on what you do need to do to progress sometimes you need to create a dish for a certain character or you have to just wait a little while for the story to progress naturally um, and also you can also check your progress on each um, character that does visit the cafe as well so for example Poncho I've already completed his story arc and now I've just started the story arc for the witch that has just come in the cafe tip number seven I always like to check my recipe fragments so you can do this in the menu I always like to check um, what recipe fragments I have and what I don't have this gives me an idea of um, what ones I need to look for and ones that I need to get restored from the wizard so that's always a helpful tip to always check your recipe fragments in the menu um, just to see um, keep up to date with your progress. Tip number eight, you can change your dragon's colour by feeding it different 
dishes. Now, so the dishes that you create in Little Dragon's Cafe, some of them do, com do contain dragon dye. So these dragon dyes come in three colors, in my experience. Um, you get green, red, and blue. Um, and these ones can change the dragon's color. So if you have a green dragon and you want a blue one, for example, you will need to feed it dishes that contain blue dye. Um, I think you can also get a pure white and a pure black dragon. I'm not 100% sure on how um, you change that their color. I think it's further on in the story than what I am. Um, you can also get dishes that are neutral, so they do not change your dragon's color. So I like my dragon this color at the moment. So I will probably be feeding it neutral dishes that um, do not change its color. Rib. Tip number nine. At the end of each day, you can check your calf's progress. So every time you go to sleep and at the end of each day, it will come up with um, basically a summary of how your calf is doing. So it will come up with um, your calf's reputation and um, it will come up with um, how satisfied your customers are, how many customers you've had that day, and um, I think also your staff's mood as well. So it's always a good idea to check that and it will show you um, how far you need your, ca your cafe's reputation is to proceed into the further in the story. So that's always helpful to do. Um, and it will also show you your top ranking dishes as well. So the first one, um, it will show you your top um, ranked dish and then on the second page, it will show you your most popular dish as well. And tip number 10, always help in your cafe regularly. So obviously this might be an obvious one, but um, to build your cafe's reputation and um, to make your customers and your staff happy, make sure that you do help out in the cafe regularly. So this could be just coming back um, for one of the busy periods and just helping out. It will help the um, cafe reputation come up. You can also um, cook dishes to put on your cafe menu as well. If you found these hints and tips helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see me do some more videos like this, then just leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.